What I'm going to do is mount a piece of masonite with a piece of canvas and you'll notice that I cut the canvas just slightly larger than the actual piece of masonite. The masonite has been cut and I sanded it and unfortunately when you sand it you end up with all this dust all over it. So one of the things that I like to do is to take a towel and soak it with just a little bit of alcohol and this is just plain old everyday rubbing alcohol and just lightly clean the surface off and if you need to you add a little bit more alcohol and you can see the dirt that's coming off of there and that's just dust from the sanding and so I'm going to make sure this is nice and cleaned up and then I've got all of those dust particles off of there so that I have a nice clean surface to deal with. I'm going to wait just a few minutes for this alcohol to evaporate off and you can see that's quite a bit of, of dust. Waiting for this alcohol to evaporate off and dry up a little bit. Then I'm going to seal it with Golden GAC 700 Clear Sealing Polymer and I have a large brush that I'm going to be using and I'll be back in just a minute. The next step I'm going to be using GAC 700 which is a clear sealing polymer from Golden a two inch brush. I have a towel here my masonite panel and some water. I'm going to make sure that my brush is moistened. I'm going to take off any excess and then I'm going to apply some of the GAC sealer and spread it out and allow it to dry before I start adding anything to it. So just put a little bit on there, make sure I get it spread out, try to make sure I get every piece of this covered. And you'll see that it does change color as the sealer goes on. And that will lighten up as it gets dried. Make sure I don't have a lot of bits and pieces in there. A little bit more sealer. It only takes one coat, so it's not like it's terribly expensive. Again, make sure I don't have any residue or big chunks of acrylic medium in there. This is where your towel comes in handy. Get it nice and smooth. And then I'm going to allow this to dry and in between I'm going to clean my brush. So that part is done and now I'm going to wait about 15 minutes for this to dry thoroughly. Um, this is completely dry now and what I've done is I've taken a piece of gessoed canvas and this is the raw side of it. I placed my board on here, make sure I had a perimeter all the way around, trying to avoid the selvage edge over here as much as possible. I took a pencil and drew in the four corners. Now that I've done that, I can take some water and spray the surface. And the reason I want to spray the surface is to relax the fibers a little bit so that it's a little bit easier to deal with and it won't absorb the moisture quite as fast, which is an important part of the process. So I'm going to spray this down with water and I'm going to let it just absorb into the cotton. Make sure it gets good and wet, and you'll see that I used a watercolor pencil and it's starting to run a little bit. That's perfectly fine, that's not a big issue. Okay, now that I have this totally wet, I'm going to set this aside. I'm back with my board again. I have my brush, which is still slightly damp from earlier. I'm going to take some soft gel medium and I like using soft gel medium quite a bit. Uh, take a pretty good dollop of it and paint it on this dried, sealed hardboard 
making sure I get the edge as well. So I'm going to make sure that I get all these edges, maybe just a little heavier on the edge than in the center, if at all possible. I'm going to set this aside for just a moment. I'm going to now do the same thing with the canvas, making sure that I get outside of my marks. And I'm using plenty of, of gel medium here. I'm not being real stingy with it. Okay, make sure I'm well with the outside of my marks. Any excess I'm going to put right back into the bottle. And I, I don't know whether you've noticed the plastic wrap on here, but I use that as a seal. It gives it a little extra seal, but it also doesn't allow the acrylic medium to build up on the threads. So now here's where those marks come in handy. I'm going to come in here with my board. I'm going to turn it upside down. I'm going to press it firmly, take my hand, rub it through, grab a roller, and starting at the center, I'm just going to roll it out to all the corners, and a little bit of the gel medium is going to ooze out. I'm not too concerned about it. And you can see I have a nice finish on there. You can see that I also have some extra medium squeezing out. That's not a big deal. I will grab some towels here and wipe up this excess so that I don't get it all over the place. Make sure my brush goes in water. Now here comes the part that I like the best. I have a vacuum seal travel bag and these are kind of neat. And I'm going to pull this over to the side. I'm going to open this up right here at the hinge. Good and open. And then I'm going to take and line it with wax paper. The reason I like to use the wax paper is so that it doesn't adhere itself to the inside of the bag. So I'm going to put two pieces of paper in here and I'm going to spread it out. Here goes the second piece of paper. And then I'm going to put my canvas in here, face side down, absolutely face side down. Make sure that I don't have any fold overs. Then I'm going to come in here with another piece of wax paper. And it looks like I might need one more. have one cut. We'll put this on here. And then I'm going to make sure that I have it firmly sealed. And you, this, you just pull this tab right along the edge and that firmly seals it. Now the last piece of equipment that I'm going to need is a vacuum cleaner. And I have a small shop vac that I like to use a lot. And I'm just going to plug this in. And this is going to get noisy. so. Don't expect it to be anything but. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to form the vacuum. Now 
Now that the vacuum is formed, I will seal this. I'm going to turn it over, and I'm just going to lightly rub my hand over the entire surface. Make sure that I have a really nice adhesion all the way around this piece of hardboard. Then I'm going to allow this to sit for a minimum of a half hour. So I'll be back in a half hour. Half hours passed and you can see that it's holding its vacuum extremely well. So what I want to do here is I want to release the vacuum and these are very easy to do. You just grab it by the edge, you open it up, vacuum is released. I'm going to pull this entire package out, set my bag aside, and then I'm going to remove the wax paper and this will be thrown away. This I'm not going to keep. Now because it was in a vacuum bag, it really hasn't dried at all. So now, we, now I need to have it dry. But you can see it's got a nice smooth finish. It looks like it took very well. Um, I'm just going to let it dry and I'll come back and we'll trim it up and see where it leads. The panel has completely dried now and it has a really nice surface to it. And you can go through the whole process of turning it over and trimming it and folding the corners and gluing them down. Or you can flush cut, which is one of the ways I like to do it. I just need a very sharp X-Acto knife and I'm just going to follow the edge of the hardboard and remove any excess canvas. And I like the way this looks and I like the way that it mounts once you get it into the uh, frame. And I've been doing this quite a bit and not had any issues with uh, raveling or anything like that. And I think it's a nice look. Now sometimes these boards will cup a little bit in the process. And if that happens, you just weight them down with some weight on the cupped side so that you can straighten them back out. But there's the finished panel. It's done. Well, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much.